So today we're going to do Parmesan chicken bake. So you need to make sure you wash your hands. You've got your apron on and these are the ingredients you're going to need for this less, this uh, recipe. You're going to need chicken breast, but you can use chicken thighs or chicken drumsticks if you wish. Um, four tablespoons of mayonnaise, a fresh lemon, some uh, Parmesan cheese, a clove of garlic and some panko breadcrumbs. Okay, panko breadcrumbs are basically breadcrumbs that have just been dried out in the oven. You need a garlic crusher, chopping board, sharp knife and either a zester as I've got here or you can use the small side of the grater um, for zesting your lemon. Okay, so we're going to make a start. I'm going to start with the, uh, the garlic. I'm just going to top and tail it and peel. Uh, the outside papery bit off and again I like to peel onto my chop off, off my chopping board so that we don't have a big mess on the chopping board so we're just going to peel this off and then I'm going to uh, crush this garlic um, clove into the mayonnaise okay now it is important when you're working with raw meat to make sure that you um, don't handle the meat and then handle other things and Okay, you need to make sure you wash your hands and there's no cross-contamination. So we're doing all the things that don't come into contact with the meat first. So garlic goes into the mayonnaise. Then I'm going to zest the lemon into the mayonnaise. And uh, when we say zest, we are literally just taking off the yellow colouring of the lemon so that you can just see the white underneath. You do not want to go through on, into the actual flesh of the lemon. That's far too much. You don't need a huge amount of lemon zest in this, but you can see I've left the white, um, so it's literally just taking the yellow off. Um, now I have this zester that I have, but you could use, um, the, as I said, the side of the, the grater. Okay, so I'm going to use the same zester to um, grate my Parmesan cheese. Now you can buy Parmesan cheese already uh, grated and in, in uh, you know, like a small particle form. Um, and I'm just going to grate this in there. You need about three tablespoons, three to four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. If you don't like Parmesan, you can use another hard cheese, but you want something that's got a really strong flavour um, to give some flavour to the actual chicken. Okay, so um, as I said, three to four tablespoons of the Parmesan. Now I'm, I've got one very large chicken breast here. Um, which I'm going to cut into three um, but this is for normally two chicken breasts okay all right so parmesan's in and then I'm going to stir all this in I'm going to put a little bit of herbs in I've got some thyme but you could use mixed herbs or basil anything that you fancy the the, the, uh, the flavors that you like mix this through so it's all combined into uh, the mayonnaise the mayonnaise is what you're going to coat the chicken with that you're going to get your breadcrumbs to stick to. So I've got my two bowls now. I've got my panko breadcrumbs in one uh, and my mayonnaise mixture in the other. So I'm going to now just trim up my chicken, chicken breast. Now it's quite a large chicken breast. There's some bits and pieces on it. So I'm just going to take those off. Okay. Um, and just cut it into slightly smaller more manageable pieces because this is quite a large chicken breast okay and taking some of the uh, extra bits of white off and just trimming it back and making it a bit more neat okay right and then i'm going to cut it into three I'll cut it in half and then you've got this little um fillet underneath i'll just trim that bit off okay um, so that's I'm happy with that piece and then I've got this piece and I'm just going to take that little fillet off as well so I've got three pieces of chicken okay um, before I start to actually do this I, I'm going to sort my worktop out okay so I'm washing my hands and then I'm going to get them everything into some form of order because I'm going to work um, with the chicken into the mayonnaise and then onto the breadcrumbs and then onto the baking tray. So you need to have it in some form of um, 
border okay so you need to massage the mayonnaise into the chicken um, so that it sticks because you want the breadcrumbs to stick to this as well okay so I'm pushing it into the, uh, the chicken flesh and then I'm going to put it into the panko breadcrumbs and hopefully those will all stick to the mayonnaise uh, mixture okay I'm not happy with that make sure it's fully coated and fully coated it's a bit gooey and a bit messy this bit um, but you'll enjoy it because I'll, especially getting your fingers all nice and coated in uh, all sorts of stuff breadcrumbs etc I put this onto the baking tray just move this here in front so you can actually see it on camera okay and then do the same with the other two pieces of breadcrumbs now my fingers are very gooey so I'm just going to get I'm just going to wash them again um because I don't want to get all the breadcrumbs mixed into the mayonnaise straight away okay so I'm rubbing the mayonnaise over the chicken a bit more and then um again into the breadcrumbs and you just repeat this until you've coated all your chicken pieces now like I mentioned to you before this is chicken breast that I'm using but you could use boned chicken thighs they are cheaper they will work just as well um, they must be boned um, I, I don't know I mean you could do it pro probably with uh, chicken drumsticks but you would have to take the skin off the chicken drumsticks and make sure you take the skin off the, the chicken thighs as well um, because otherwise it's just going to stick to the skin and not to the actual chicken okay uh, if you were doing this and you wanted to do it vegetarian um, you could um, you could use corn uh, that would work um, or you could actually uh, do it to uh, large mushrooms coating the large mushrooms and um, with some form of filling in the middle okay um, so once it's all done it's going to go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes 180 degrees centigrade okay uh, I've just gone and washed my hands once I've finished right this is the finished result this has been in the oven for 25 minutes I'm just going to probe the largest piece of the chicken into the thickest part of the chicken it needs to be over 75 degrees centigrade and it is well over okay so now I'm ready to plate up and whilst this has been cooking in the oven because I'm at home I've been making tea so I've done some roast potatoes some roast Brussels sprouts some roast carrots and I'm putting the uh, the, the parmesan chicken bake with them and there you have a lovely meal.